Hello, I'm Dean Hyde. I'm a CRP with 4 Refuel, and today you're going to learn what it's like for a day in the life of a CRP. So here we are, jumping in the truck and heading out to our first job. What we're looking for here in this company to be a 4 Refuel CRP is for a guy that's uh, not afraid to get his hands dirty. A guy that doesn't mind to work hard, go the extra mile. Looking for guys that uh, that like to work an honest day to make an honest dollar. We do whatever it takes to get the, to get the job done. You have to be able to enjoy a little bit of uh, uh, vigorous activity because when you are out uh, filling, you know, 20 different pieces on a site. You're in and out, you're up and down, you're, you're all over the place. So, so that's uh, one thing that the guys have to understand, that it's, it's not just sitting behind the wheel and, and driving. In a 14 hour day, I bet you, I'll probably walk five kilometers. The time you, you know, back and forth, in and out of the truck, up and down. On this side, I'm probably in and out of the truck a dozen times, you know, to fuel up, uh, you know, 15 pieces uh, type of thing, so. And the guys who put the most effort in, work the hardest, are the guys who will be rewarded the most in the end. Even if you do get a little bit wet or cold or, uh, or choking on dust once in a while even, it's, uh, it's, it's still pretty comfortable work. You know, you gotta enjoy the outdoors. You gotta be able to keep up with your demands. And you gotta enjoy the go, go, go. But it's all about uh, the preparation uh, beforehand. So yeah, here we are about uh, halfway through our day. We've got another couple jobs. We're gonna get a load of fuel. We started about uh, midday and we'll go right past midnight. Carry on with the last half. Yeah, now we're uh, into the night now, yeah. With this job, it's uh, all about keeping the customer happy. So you can have different start times. You could uh, be starting 9 a.m. till uh, 7 p.m. the one day, and then maybe starting at 5 a.m. Uh, the next morning and work in your shift. And then it could even be the next day after that, maybe you have to start at midnight. It's definitely not uh, working for the government and working a, uh, a scheduled shift. It's definitely some hard work to do and some different timings on it and sometimes some long hours. Especially in the winter, at least half the shift will be in the dark gives you a little variety too so it's not always the same well the reality is if it's a long haul trucking job that you prefer that's probably one you should take because this job you're in and out of the truck uh, maybe up to uh, you know a hundred times in a day in and out it, it could be more it could be a couple of hundred times if you're not prepared to work you better find another job that's, uh, that's the biggest advice I got. If you're out there and prepared to work and can handle, uh, can handle a workload, you have no problem with a job like this. My name is Dean Hyde. Um, I do the Delta Surrey region in uh, British Columbia. I've been involved almost 11 years with this company. It's an honor to be out there and uh, representing such a good company. It's definitely been a great career. 